Hello everybody, welcome to another one of Bob's Robo uh, RoboShock here. Um, sorry I haven't been on for a while, for like past few days, a couple of days, but my son was here visiting. Um, I was supposed to meet him down at McDonald's Friday, and it did not come to that. Um... Friday, I went to, before I even left, I wrote my son a note saying that I was going to be at McDonald's. I left it on the corner of the screen where it was held, so this way he could be able to see it. I wanted to get tape to tape it on the door, but unfortunately I couldn't be able to find any tape in time because I wanted to leave early so I'd be able to get this done, what I need to do done early. I went to Dollar General first uh, to get a few things. I, I wanted to go shop and save, but I was, was going to wait down at McDonald's to download some stuff on the Switch that I didn't get to download yet. Um, I downloaded the demo for Resident Evil 5. I finished that. Me and my son um, played it. That that same night, on Friday night, um, we've had fun together, it's split screen, it's the same thing as Xbox, but here's the thing about Resident Evil 5, and of course, I downloaded the game Resident Evil 6, because I thought it was fun, but here's the thing though, when you play a game handheld, of course you'll be able to hear the people talking, you know, and everything else, you play it on the TV, Okay, you put it into its slots, you put it on the TV, and guess what? You don't hear the people talking. You don't hear voices at all, but barely, like I said, until, until you turn your TV up high. But if you do that, what's going to happen is that you're going to hear the gunshots and the bangs and booms and everything else. It's going to be too loud. So, Nintendo needs to fix this, along with the other games that it was, that has the same problem. Um, like I said, the same thing with, um, Lego Ninjago, the video game for the Switch. You can't hear anybody talking in the game. Period. The only t on that game, the only time you can ever hear, hear people here talking or anything, I guess it was like, it'll be like, cuts, no, not even cutscenes. Um, if you're fighting, that's the only time you'll hear people talking clearly. But cutscenes, you don't hear nothing. The si it's different now with Resident Evil 5 and 6. You can barely hear them. Even when they do the cutscenes, you can barely hear them. But when you do the actual playing and everything, you can't hear them at all. You can't hear them talk. You can't hear other people talk on nothing. All you hear is gun shooting, explosives, and everything. And Nintendo needs to fix this problem. And that's not the only problem I have with uh, Nintendo with that. It's another thing. I just watched YouTube. On YouTube, I mean, I watched a video on YouTube from Switch Planet of games that's coming out in the near future of the Switch and the release date. And I found out that the game Agony, yes, Agony, the game that people has played on the PlayStation, I uh, think also on the Xbox or anything, people say that the game Agony sucked. It was bad. And now they, now it's coming to the Switch. I don't know if Nintendo, whatever game Agony game had, whatever problems the game had, I hope that it was fixed or anything like that, and it runs good on the Switch. Because if it does, that means that the game just totally sucked period on any on the other consoles except for the Switch. But we're going to have to wait and see what happens. And my son didn't come to see McDonald's, come to McDonald's at all. I was there at 
11 o'clock in the morning. That's after I went to uh, Dollar General. Um, my son didn't come. I stayed till like about almost 4 o'clock and he didn't show up. So I went down to shop and save. I got what I needed. Then when I came home, my son was, it showed my son was here. The TV was on. Um, the cup that he was drinking from was here and it wasn't finished. He was here. Then, when he finally came here, I told him, why didn't you come down to McDonald's? He I told him I left a note for you. He says he didn't see it. I told him I left it on the screen door. And he said he did not really didn't see it. And I, I'm just thinking, do you check anything? I mean, I, I, I get a little bit sick and tired sometimes that when, you know, somebody texts me and everything, and I try to get back to them as soon as I can, certain ones, and when I text them back, they text me back a little longer than it should. I don't complain all because I know I'm going to get them sooner or later, but I figure, you know, my own son to be able to see a note that I left on the screen door downstairs. Nope. I'm going to have to look for tape and make sure that next time that I do this on a Friday or sometime during the week, if he walks down here from to school or whatever, I have a note taped somewhere so he can see it. But, let's move on. Uh, this Monday, which is tomorrow, he's got a date with um, this girl lady scene. I've seen her. Um, she's better than the last girlfriend that he was with. I just hope that he doesn't screw this up this time like he did the last one. I, I just hope not. Anyway, back to the video games. The Resident Evil 5 and 6 that comes to the Switch it doesn't come out until the 29th. And that's going to be next Tuesday. So I can't wait for that. That means that Tuesday I have to go down to McDonald's, order like a drink, like a dollar or two, a dollar or two items. Two items at least that cost one dollar, and hope and finish downloading Resident Evil Five, so this way I could be able to play Resident Evil Five on my own on that day, and then same thing for Resident Evil Six, and Nintendo. I hope you fix the voice voices on, on this because you haven't fixed voices on what on, so we could be able to hear them when we play them on TV. You didn't fix the one that was on Lego Ninjago. You did at one point. You did, but then you messed it up by updating the system. So, you didn't fix that again. Resident Evil 2 Revelations, you didn't fix the voices on that where you could be able to hear them. So, I hope that this video, you get to watch this video, and I hope you can understand that you can fix what the problems are. Because, for God's sakes, love to hear the voices. I would love to hear the people talk. Okay? And hopefully, also, that whatever the game, the agony of the game, whatever problems that I had, on the other consoles, hopefully it doesn't have the same problem on a, on a Switch. But, people are expecting a lot, so, we, we'll, well, we'll see what the people say when, you know, it comes close to the time where Agony comes out and somebody got the game early, so we could be able to watch, watch them play it and see what they think about it. 
watch either like Spawn Wave, Beat 'em Ups, or RGT85. Excuse me. I watch those guys because I want to know what's going on with the games, the video game industry, the companies and whatnot. And those guys I usually watch because they give great reviews of video games and everything. So hopefully you guys get to watch them. Um, not because, like I said, my, uh, my son's not here. He went home like about a few hours ago, around like 6, 6.30. Um, we ate frozen pizza that he ate up in the oven for dinner. Then when he left, I ate something else for dinner because I was still hungry. Oh, just, it, it, and, oh yeah, we also, t when him and his girlfriend was here, I talked about the, the Pet cemetery. you know, like the original one, is still down here at Redbox, and I'm waiting for it to get the new one to come in, because I haven't seen the new one yet, um, Daniel told me that he's seen, my son, excuse me, he said that he saw the new reboot of Pet Cemetery. He said it really wasn't that good. You know, and that's the thing. I said the same thing about Stephen King It when they rebooted it. And I thought that it wasn't going to be any good. Until I've actually seen both chapters, the first chapter of Stephen King It. And... It was good. It was really, really good. And, <clears throat> you know, i not going to say the same thing about Pet Cemetery when they reboot that because I might end up liking that. You know, I told my son there are some things that some movies you can reboot, but you shouldn't reboot. Because the classic will be better than the reboot that you may turn out to be. Um, you know, some movies should be touched and some movies shouldn't. Just plain and simple. Um... I don't know what else to say, but I'm going to I'm just going to end the video here because I'm going to be busy doing other stuff, watching YouTube and everything. So, I basically I'll be making another video tomorrow night or the next night, and keep all guys up with what's going on then. So, with that in mind, I'm going to end the video here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And that's the bottom line. Because I said so.